Hello everybody and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson we are going to talk about preset filters. Preset filters are pretty useful uh, when it comes to adding some pretty nifty special effects to objects. Let's, uh, I think the best way to show you what a preset filter does is just to demonstrate it. I'm going to click on my two objects and I'm going to click on filters, bevels, and button and we see that our uh, objects have been transformed into a set of buttons a couple of buttons as a second example of a filter i click on filters and then click on distort and then click on swirl and i see that my objects have been distorted into a swirly pattern now, there are many more filters. Just scroll through them and I see that I've got bevels, blurs, bumps, and many, many more. If I look at bevels, I see uh, two types. I see a normal filter. Each of them does something different. And I see those which have three dots. The thing about those pre dots is the pre dots means that uh, input will be required from the user. So if I select these objects and click on filters, protrusions and snow crest, I see an input required uh, drift size. I'm going to click on live preview to see what effect varying this parameter has on the image. I'm sure you can already guess what's going to happen as I increase the drift size. Yes, the snow, the height of the snow increases. If we look further down, we see two more buttons separated from the rest two more options i should say one of them is the filter editor uh, which we can use to edit filters and the other is the remove filters button that removes all the filters applied to the object so for example if i select these two objects and i click on filters remove filters I see that they are back to normal. Now, filters can be quite slow. Often filters require a lot of computation, so it can be useful to deactivate temporarily an applied filter. Let's go to filters, bevels, button, and then go to view, display mode, and I see the option toggle, normal, no filters, and outline. The short key for toggle is control 5. Uh, that toggles between these three views, normal, no filters, and outline. Normal uh, is just a normal view as I have it. If I click on no filters, I, the filters are still applied, so I haven't removed them but I just cannot see them, which speeds up the rendering of your objects. I can also click on view, display mode, outline, incidentally, and then I see only the outline of the objects. I can press Ctrl and 5 to toggle between the three view modes. Now, as a last part, have a look at how many filters we have. We have really lots and lots and lots of filters. Finding the right filter is like finding a needle in a haystack. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my favorite groups of filters and I'm going to make 
summary sheets of them to give an overview of what each theater does. It's quite a boring and tedious task, but in the next exercise we are going to create a summary sheet together with all the texture filters, bark, blotting paper, etc, etc. This is, uh, if you think it's too boring, it's not really necessary, but I would recommend that you follow along and create your own summary sheet with these, all these filters to give you an idea of which filter does what, and you can remember which ones were cool and which ones were not so cool. So, see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.